This video is going to demonstrate how to solve for unknowns in F tables as well as how to fill out F tables. So let's start with the first design, which is a one way between subjects ANOVA. So, first and foremost, let's talk about how do these values relate across the line. So, the way the math works is sum of squares divided by degrees of freedom equals mean squares. So, the mean squares for each of these lines is obtained by doing this division process. So that is true in the between subjects case here. That is also true for the within subjects case here. When I divide across, I get the mean squares. So that would mean if you needed to go in reverse, if I had started with a mean squares value, for example, I could multiply and that would solve me back to sum of squares. Next, let's talk about how these things relate with uh, respect to one another or down the columns. So, if you take the sum of squares, for example, the sum of squares between and the sum of squares within, if we add those together, that is going to give us the sum of squares total. The same is true with the degrees of freedom. If we add them together, 2 plus 21 gives us 23. The last form that you would solve for is solving for the F. Well, as we already said, by taking the sum of squares and dividing by the degrees of freedom, we get the mean square. And that works for both of these lines. Once you have the mean squares, you divide the between by the within mean square, and that is what gives you your F statistic. So this is how you would translate from the table in SPSS for a one way into a between subjects table for an F. And this also then talks about how you would relate them.